Matt Smith is a famous British film, theater, and television actor. He was sure that he would become a professional soccer player, but he managed to realize himself as an actor. About the varieties of the fate of the 11th Doctor Who, the young Prince Philip, and now the vicious Prince Demon Targaryen, you will learn from this video. Matt Smith, how the star of the TV series House of the Dragon lives and how much he earns. Matthew Robert Smith was born on October 28, 1982, in one of the largest cities in England, Northampton. The boy grew up with his older sister, Laura, in a fairly well-off family. His parents, David and Lynn, owned a small plastic recycling company, and this business is still profitable. Matt says that his childhood was good and very interesting. On the one hand, all the benefits of a big city were nearby, and on the other hand, nature was close as well. Having a lively and rich imagination, he loved to explore new places riding a bicycle, building huts with friends, and inventing various traps and contraptions. When the weather was warm, the boy played soccer from morning till night. His grandpa was a professional soccer player and played for one of the oldest clubs, Nottis County. Matt wanted to follow in his grandfather's footsteps and played for Northampton Town and Nottingham Forest children's teams, and then became captain of the Leicester City youth team. By the way, he showed leadership qualities at the Northampton School for Boys, where he was a class monitor. The charismatic young man also participated in school theater productions. He easily and effortlessly got the lead roles, which is why he was envied among his classmates and received the nickname Lord Matt of Smithington. Smith really was a teacher's pet. The drama teacher saw his acting potential and signed him up for roles without his consent. After soccer games and training sessions ending around 6 p.m., without even taking a shower, Matt rushed to do a play, which began at 7. His first role was in the play 12 Angry Men, where he had to put on an American accent. Though it was new, interesting, and very exciting for the boy, soccer was still his priority. Everything changed when Matt suffered a serious spinal injury. For a whole year, his father took him to physical therapy and supported him, saying that the injury is not a tragedy, but a deliverance. The coaches had high expectations for the young man, and he demanded only the highest sports results from himself. During rehabilitation, he was completely disoriented. What to do next? What profession to choose if a sports career is no longer possible? Acting became the release from pressure and the answer to all his questions. Although Matt was going to Cambridge University after graduation, his drama teacher convinced the student to join the National Theatre in London. Eventually, the young man became a student at the University of East Anglia in Norwich, where he studied literature and acting. The teacher was right. Matt was really talented and very soon gained confidence in his own abilities, as well as understanding that he had made the right choice. The theater completely absorbed Smith, becoming an integral part of his life. The young man was also happy that in the acting profession, he could use the skills acquired on the soccer field. Physical fitness, a sense of duty, and dedication necessary to achieve the goal. At the National Youth Theater, he received the roles of Thomas Beckett in the play Murder in the Cathedral and Koroviev in Bulgakov's The Master and Margarita. The young actor was in demand on the stage, so he even had to finish his studies as an external student in 2005. Meanwhile, Smith had got an agent and the opportunity to pay for his services, and soon he got roles in the plays New Murders, On the Shore of the Vast World, and History Lovers, in theaters in London and Manchester. Matt combined his work in the theater with roles on television. He made his debut in 2006. The actor appeared in the TV series Masterpiece Theater and the film Ruby and the Smoke. You read Selby's letter? Oh no, that would be dishonest. <laughs> of course I read it. All he said was he wanted their arrangement to start immediately. On the set of the latter, he began a romantic relationship with his colleague, Billy Piper. Soon the couple broke up, but the actors crossed paths more than once on the set of other projects. In 2007, the young actor made his debut on the West End, where the theatrical and concert life of the British capitals concentrated, 
in the play Among the Sharks. At the same time, he participated in TV projects. His filmography was replenished with the television thriller The Shadow of the North and several episodes of the TV series The Street and the Secret Diary of a Call Girl. But the main achievement was a contract with the BBC for starring in the series Party Animals, the story of which revolves around the backstage of the British Parliament. In the series, Matt Smith played one of the lead roles, the son of a former Labour Party MP. Matt also appeared in the play That Face at the Royal Court Theatre, which is about alcohol and drug addiction in a middle-class family. During the preparation, the actors talked with people suffering from alcoholism, as well as their family members. And in 2008, the cast was nominated for the Lawrence Oliver Award for outstanding achievements in the field of theatrical art. For his role, Smith also received a nomination from the Evening Standard as Best Aspiring Actor. The actor also starred in an extremely violent scene in the 2008 film In Bruges. But it didn't get into the final editing. He also auditioned for the role of John Watson in the famous BBC series Sherlock. By that time, Benedict Cumberbatch had already received the lead role and the creators of the show decided that Smith was too similar to him in temperament. Screenwriter and producer Stephen Moffat later claimed that Smith would have been a good Sherlock, but he turned out to be a great Time Lord. The executive producer of the cult series Doctor Who, Pierce Wenger, invited Matt to audition thanks to the party animals, and later he insisted that Smith play the 11th Doctor. The actor himself was extremely happy just to get to the audition. Although he was not a big fan of the story about the alien time traveler, he just fell in love with Moffat's script and gave his best in the auditions. But later it seemed to him that during the audition he was a little crazy and too eccentric. But it worked, and he was approved for the lead role. Leaving is good. Never coming back is better. Come on, then! The doctor will see you now! Thus, at the age of 26, Smith became the youngest doctor, but the BBC management was skeptical because Matt's name was unknown to most fans of the franchise. Everything changed literally overnight. As soon as it was announced on January 3, 2009, that Smith would replace David Tennant, five reporters with cameras showed up at his parents' house, and then they began to stalk him at his grandfather's house and track down close friends. Doctor Who has long been considered a part of British culture and is listed in the Guinness Book as the world's longest running fantasy TV show. So Matt Smith's persona immediately attracted everyone's attention. The audience was divided into two camps. Some believed that the actor was too young, not famous enough, and therefore didn't deserve such a significant role while others noted the potential he showed on television and on the stage. However, from the very first episodes, Matt won the love of the audience, especially the female half. While traveling in England, the USA, and other countries where the series is shown, he was pursued by crowds of fans in a frenzy. The actor once admitted that fans make him mad every day. But his job is to entertain people, and for this, he is ready to endure anything. The actor's personal life also didn't stand still. In 2009, he was seen in the company of Brazilian singer Mayana Mora, but this relationship quickly ended. Matt had a longer relationship with model Daisy Lowe. They dated for almost a year and a half, but also broke up. In 2010, Smith appeared as a doctor in several episodes of the spin-off The Sarah Jane Adventures, as well as in the fantasy drama Womb, together with Eva Green. The actor's next project was the movie Christopher and His Kind, which is about the love of two men during the Third Reich and is based on real events. I've started giving English lessons, but actually I'm a novelist. A novelist? Oh, how perfectly marvelous. Are you published? My first novel, yes. I, I haven't yet found a publisher for the second. Matt played the writer Christopher Isherwood and preparing for the role, read his novels and watched videos with him. And besides, he went to the USA specifically to meet the author's partner, Don Bacardi. It's interesting to note that the role of Doctor Who 
also left a mark on this work because the BBC prohibited the director of the biographical drama from showing the actor completely naked. Matt's performance in the movie received excellent reviews from critics and also brought the artist a nomination for the British LGBT Stonewall Award in the category Entertainer of the Year. In 2013, the Doctor Who series turned 50 years old and the popularity of the show has increased even more. The audience fell in love with the sentimental 11th Doctor, Matt Smith, but in June, it became known that he was leaving the project. In an interview with reporters, Smith explained his decision to leave by a combination of many circumstances, but admitted that it was not easy for him, and his main fan, his mom, even asked Matt to stay. During his time on the show, the actor has repeatedly appeared in other projects of the franchise about the Time Lord and, according to reports, earned about $825,000. In 2013 to 2014, Smith played Patrick Bateman in the musical adaptation of American Psycho on the stage of one of the London theaters, despite the fact that he had no experience singing on stage. After finishing playing Doctor Who, Matt began work in the fantasy thriller film Lost River, which was released in 2014. For this role, he needed to shave his head, so in subsequent episodes of the series, he had to wear a wig. In the same year, at the Cannes Film Festival, the actor showed up with Lily James, and journalists immediately wrote about their relationship. And they were right. The young couple met while starring together in the 2016 film Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. This team-up was the beginning of Matt's longest relationship. Meanwhile, Matt appeared in the movie Terminator Genesis, and received another landmark role in his career, Prince Philip, the spouse of Queen Elizabeth II in the TV series The Crown. We're the dancing bears. What are you doing? No, I'm taking back this small pleasure. You've taken away too much. No, no, no. Those things will kill you. He starred only in the first two seasons because initially the producers of the project planned to change the actors playing the main characters in order to represent the age changes of the characters more accurately. By the way, one of Smith's acquaintances at a private dinner at Buckingham Palace tried to find out from the Duke of Edinburgh whether he had watched the series, but received a feisty response, don't be ridiculous. The actor was very amused by this reaction. Smith's fee for each episode, according to sources, was $52,000, and this figure became the reason for the scandal. Activists of the nonprofit organization Time's Up, which fights gender discrimination, noticed that Matt Smith's salary is higher than that of actress Claire Foy, who played the lead role. The creators of the show explained this by the fact that the male actor was more popular, but promised to level the pay for the next cast. In addition to the high pay, Smith was also nominated for an Emmy Award in 2018. At the same time, there were rumors about Smith appearing in the ninth episode of Star Wars. A year later, they were supplemented with information about the alleged role of the artist, the young Emperor Palpatine. However, he never joined the cast of the space opera film Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Instead, he appeared in the biopic Mapplethorpe, about the famous artist and photographer, the horror film Patient Zero, and the crime drama Charlie Says, where he played the founder of the family cult, Charles Manson. That's what our parents and our schools taught us. You live by these numbers, you play by these rules. That time is over. I'm here to make the new rules, and the new rules are no rules. Yeah. <laughs> in 2019, Matt appeared in the drama film Official Secrets, which was nominated for the Saturn Award and received the Cinema for Peace Award for the political film of the year. The actor also didn't abandon the theater and reunited with his co-star in the TV series The Crown, Claire Foy, in the production of the play Lungs. In 2020, the play was streamed online. According to rumors, Matt and Lily James broke up because of his affair with Claire, although the actors claimed that they were just good friends. In 2020, Smith and James made an attempt to restore the relationship, but soon they split up for good. Immediately there was talk about the relationship between Matt and Amelia Clark, 
but there was no proof of it except paparazzi pictures from a joint walk. Meanwhile, the actor's filmography was replenished with two horror films, His House and Last Night in Soho. The latter started Anya Taylor-Joy, and there were rumors about her affair with Matt after their yacht trip through the canals of Venice, but it was never confirmed. In 2021, Smith appeared in several music videos of the British rock band High Flying Birds, founded by a former member of Oasis, and was busy on the set of the superhero film Morbius. Previously, he repeatedly refused roles in superhero action movies, but this time he really wanted to work with director Daniel Espinoza. In addition, he was persuaded to agree by his former colleague on Doctor Who, Karen Gillan, who plays Nebula in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The world premiere of Morbius took place in March 2022, and in the first weekend, the film became the box office leader in the United States, but gathered mostly negative reviews from both film critics and comic book fans. All our lives, we've lived with death hanging over us. The movie was labeled a failure, which didn't prevent Matt Smith from getting his $700,000 for the role. Most recently, a new high-profile project with Smith was launched, the series House of the Dragon from the universe of A Song of Ice and Fire. The show takes place two centuries before the events of Game of Thrones, and Matt embodied the image of the dragon rider, Prince Demon Targaryen, the younger brother of King Viserys. In the very first days of filming, the actor was injured while working on a sword fight scene, but a fee of $25,000 per episode can't be considered a fair compensation for the dangerous work. The management of HBO is so confident in the success of House of the Dragon that even before the release of the first episode, the show has secured a second season and they plan to begin filming it this year. By the age of 39, the British actor managed to collect several iconic and beloved roles in his portfolio. But among his colleagues on the set, he is more known for his extreme clumsiness. One day he spilled coffee on a woman, bought her another cup as a sign of apology, but spilled that one as well. Another time he put a glass of grape juice on his jacket, which he took off just to keep it clean. And during filming with horses, he didn't follow the persistent advice to stay away from the animals and fell off a horse, almost breaking his neck. Producers of projects where he participated even made bets on how long it would take him to break the props. The clumsiness has been with the actor since childhood, and until the age of four, Matt blamed his mistakes on an imaginary kangaroo friend named Rue, until he realized that this would not fool his parents. Speaking of parents, the Smith family is very close-knit, so the death of the actor's father in 2021 really knocked everyone down. For Matt, he was a real rock, the main support system, as well as for his mother and sister. The actor often spends weekends at his parents' house, helping with the household chores, and supports his older sister, Laura, in her work. She's a professional dancer and went on tour with the band Take That. By the way, for a long time, the girl was entrusted with the mission to keep in working order Matt's dear and only car, Vaxhall Corsa. The actor bought a silver three-door car with a manual transmission at the age of 18, drove it to the university, to the performances of the National Youth Theater, and even to the filming of Doctor Who. Many of his friends nicknamed the car The Shed, but Corsa has seen many adventures, not to mention several accidents when it got dense. One day, Matt tore off the side mirror taped it with duct tape and drove the car like this for four years. Due to his busy schedule, it became inconvenient for the actor to use the car and eventually it was sold at a charity auction. All proceeds went to an organization that fulfills the wishes of seriously ill children and arranges parties in hospitals and hospices in the UK. Matt Smith's fortune is estimated at $9 million. In addition to acting fees, he has advertising contracts with the manufacture of clothing, accessories, and perfume, Burberry and Apple Corporation. A couple of years ago, he advertised their iPhone 12 Pro Max. Matt bought his apartment in North London in 2010 for 775,000 pounds. 
The two-bedroom apartment has a spacious living room with a wooden ceiling almost 30 feet high. Moreover, it is located not in an ordinary two-story house, but in a former church built in the 19th century. Smith has long been interested in English and foreign literature, photography, and music. He plays the piano and guitar and also collects vinyl records. The horror film star Baker is at the post-production stage, but now the actor is completely focused on working in the TV series House of the Dragon, especially since the show became extremely successful. In the first six hours alone, 2.6 million households in the United States watched the series, and the streaming service HBO Max couldn't handle the load and crashed. Have you started watching the Game of Thrones prequel? Share your opinion in the comments. If you like the video, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything interesting.